All right, today I want to go over activators and key presses in Rewaz with your Azeron keypad. Now, what's usually very unique about using different key presses and activators is that you can get really creative with one single key. So going into it, here's an example of my Apex Legends. Um, I got this idea actually from a, uh, a fellow Discord friend of mine. He's a gosh darned hero over at Dad's Gaming Discord. Uh, great community if you're a dad. You love gaming, like-minded people. Definitely uh, recommend checking them out. But So with this setup, I have my shield cells and I have my shield battery all on one key. So it makes it very, very easy to remember. Uh, so I have on my seven key, my syringe and my med kit now single press as you can see single press which is right here is q which is my syringe for my long press it is n which is my med kit so in the heat of it getting shot a little bit get behind cover hit that hit uh, number seven key real quick boom i'm hitting syringe now i'm in a heavier firefight and i lost a lot of health now I need to do a full heal. Um, I'm gonna press and hold seven, and then now I'm using my med kit. So it's very easy, because I know that that key is always going to be my health key. And then same with six, which is just gonna be my shield key. So with single press is E, which is my shield cell, small amount of uh, shield. Long hold, long press is my shield battery, which again is a full stack of shield recovery. This is very helpful because it's easy to remember, right? So when you're in a fight and you're coming back and you're trying to heal or you're trying to put a shield battery on and you have four different keys, it can get confusing. And this just makes it much, much easier. Now, what I also like to do with long press is use my Xbox app and my Origin app or whatever the software is or the overlay is for the game that I'm playing. So because this is Apex Legends, I'm using the Origin app shortcut. So if I click on this, right, my regular press is escape menu because these are the higher keys. And so you're gonna wanna go to your escape menu to either pause the game or if you're you know, in the menus or whatever the case may be, you're not in a game so they're easier to click, um, not in the heat of the battle or heat of the game or whatever the case may be. Um, so then, you're going to have long press. So my long press is my origin software or origin overlay because, again, I'm playing Apex Legends. So I go into key, uh, key combo, and it's left shift with a pause of 250 milliseconds. This can be really whatever, um, and F1 because left shift F1 is the shortcut for the overlay for origin. And then it just you know has the pauses, and then it releases those buttons. It works, test it out, it's really convenient, it's super easy. Um, and then I also do the same thing with my Xbox app. Um, same, very similar key combo, but it's left window with a pause and then G, which is the shortcut for the overlay. And then it just releases that, it opens up the overlay. I can send friend requests or I can send game advice with my buddies that I'm playing cross play with um, while I'm on the PC. So that is short press and long press. Now double press. Again, very self-explanatory. Um, if you don't like long press and you prefer double press, then again, that could be um, right up your alley. Then you have triple press, same exact thing, right? So hit the button three times, and it activates, done deal. Now, in order to control the length of time in which a long press takes to activate or a double press or a triple press, you can come down into setting or preferences, sorry, and go into, give me one second, uh, press time, sorry. So you're gonna go into press time and then there's long press. And so you can adjust this milliseconds. So if I hold and press a button that I have for pr long press, 300 milliseconds, and then it'll automatic, and then it will activate. Same down here. Double press is 150 milliseconds, so I double press and it's within 150 milliseconds of each other, bam, that's my double press. 
if I triple press within 300 milliseconds, then boom, that's my triple press. Now, if you're not clicking very fast or you want to um, elongate this, boom, then that's what you need to do. Um, you also have your shortcut times, your slot overlay hotkeys. Those are a little different, um, but I go over those in other videos. So you can go back and this is how you would adjust those things. Now, what I want to discuss and what is a little confusing, and it took a little time for me to figure it out, um, ask a couple questions, but the best way that I can describe these release and press demos is by just showing you some of these examples with Word. Um, so for this one, the, the single press is L. Now my, my star press is K. Now, as soon as I press the key, the K will activate. Then I'm gonna hold the key and then a bunch of L's should show up on Word document. So now I will, oh, sorry, I need to activate it. So apply. Now here, See, I pressed it, originally it pressed K and then a bunch of L's, okay? Now I'm gonna go back here and then we have 15, which is the press key of L. And then when I release it, it is K. So let's go through with this and go to the next one. So what it should show is a bunch of L's and then a K. So I'm holding it, holding it, holding it, and then release, boom. So I have a bunch of L's and then a K at the very end. Now for the next one, this one's a combo. So it has a press of K, a single press of L, or sorry, a start press key of K, a single press of L, and then a release press of W. So let's see that right now. Now this one, here we go. So it starts with K, a lot of L's, and then ends with W. Now, that about sums it up. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, or you have any creative ways that you use these keys in these short presses or, or um, key presses or activators, just hit it in the like or hit it in the uh, comments. Hit that like button. Subscribes are always helpful. And hey, hopefully this were, uh, helped you guys out. Have a good one.